welcome to Adapt Adapt Inclusion. Thank you for deciding to watch this video. The way to master be confident for your anchors is to master your content or your concept. Come up with the strategy. Now you're going to approach each question and practice. Content, strategy to each question and practice. That is the key. Content, concept, question answering, and practice. So I have a couple of questions. This is the first question. See, the best way is for you to pause the video, answer it, and see what I'm going to do. Am I going to approach it? I start from the back, select or apply. And I go for the buzzwords. I call them buzz. They are bees. They will buzz in your ears. Which finding the nation should recognize as early signs of hydrocephalus? There's a reason why I put early signs. Why do I put early? There's late signs. There's early signs. I put early signs there. Hydrocephalus. What is the problem? And this is evaluating a preschool. It's a kid with hydrocephalus. Short question. Hydrocephalus and early signs. What you worry about? The key is if your head is that big from hydrocephalus because of cerebrospinal fluid, right? It goes there and it, there's excessive secretion of cerebrospinal fluid. And so the kid's head is big and it's too much fluid, right? And then that increases your ICP. So hydrocephalus always correlate to ICP. But when do they develop ICP? Late finding. Late finding. Just because you have hydrocephalus doesn't mean you're going to have ICP. If you don't do anything about it, you develop ICP. So that's why I put early signs. Therefore, which of these things you think it will be early sign? If they lay down and they sleep, they wake up, the fluid build up, they get they start vomiting. And when the fluid build up, they get headache. Those are the early signs. Rapid enlarging it is not going to happen. The kid is a preschool. He sutures. The fontanelle, the sutures is what connect one bone of your skull together, right? These are sutures. And when they are open, that's how your fontanelle can bulge. At the preschool age, they are closed. They usually close like 12 to 18 months. Preschool guy is too old. His head is not going to get bigger anymore. So this is wrong. Bulging, bulging fontanelle, sutures are closed. High pitch cry is a late finding of um icp so therefore the right hand side is number one and number five test taking strategy content question analysis and test taking strategy okay and infant has been admitted with what acute encephalop encephalitis what assessment finding the nation should prioritize you have to be sharp this is be sharp in a 101 what is, what is it? Encephalitis, if you don't know, let me show you something. This is your brain. It's surrounded by meninges. So when we say meningitis, we're referring to the surrounding of your brain. It's not the brain itself. So this is your brain. It has tissues that surround the brain. We call it meninge meninges. And then you have your skull. That's the, the bone of your head, right? So these are the meninges before you get to the brain. Think about it. When the meninges are inflamed, you get meningitis. They really, really sick. How much more is your brain? So this is a very bad problem. Encephalitis is the brain is destroyed. Not destroyed, but basically it's affected, right? Then think about it. You have to be sharp. The word said prioritize. Go and watch my videos. You talk about be sharp. This is breathing, electrolyte shock, hypothermia, airway, lethargy, and pain, right? Hypothermia, hypoglycemia, shock, and sepsis. The, the R is a neurological problem. And that neurological problem, I use it as an airway. When your head is not there, you are not going to be breathing because your breathing center is in your brain. So anybody who has neurological problem cannot protect their airway. So a neural problem is an airway issue. You should take it serious. Therefore, if there's lower response to verbal stimuli, if your level of consciousness is low, and it's your ability to maintain your airway or proper reflex, these are all bad. But which one is the baddest of all? There's no word for baddest, but I'm using it as an emphasizing. If your head is not there, you can't maintain your airway. 
and that's your prioritization. This is the way to do it. They are all expected by you picking the worst of all. So two more. If you want to watch the rest of them, join adapting class. A preschool client has been admitted to the ICU after brain injury, which assessment finally indicate the lowest level of functioning for that client. Look, like I say, and close is content how to analyze the question and strategy. Brain injury, and I'm asking you lowest level of function. This is the same as GCS. What are you doing with your brain and how is your brain is comp controlling you? If you have no response to painful stimuli, if you open your eyes with verbal stimuli, if you're confused and irritable, and you have brain injury, which one is bad? Common one is the one that the patient is not doing it. If he has no response to pain, and you rob them, they don't do anything, they're just talking about what? Motor function. His motor function is so bad, he can't do anything. Of course, he's confused, he's irritable. Opening your eyes to verbal stimuli is good. But if you have no response to pain, that's your lowest response uh, level of functioning. And that's the bad one. So that's the one we pick, prioritization. And the last question. This is to test your mind. Be flexible. Put your content together. Figure out the bad way. Connect them together and see if you know what is going on. It's a four-line question. Make it two lines or one line. Which assessment finding should be of what? highest priority for the means to report to the air care provider. A preschool client presents with what? Weakness in both legs, right? Both legs are weak. What is the buzzword? One week after the flu. I had the flu and one week later, my two legs are weak. Clients now cannot move both upper extremity. Now, my upper extremities does not move which assessment finding is highest priority. I give you severe leg weakness, severe muscle tone of the feet, slurred speech, and tingling both hands. Did you figure out the diagnosis? Figure out the diagnosis. Don't guess. I know you know. You've been watching at that thing because you know the way I said question. You know the way I try to tra trap you. But this is your question. You know what I'm trying to tell you. I've underlined the buzzword. Both upper extremity, lower extremities is weak after a flu. Now the upper extremities. Let me draw that guy to you. Okay. His legs is weak after he had flu. Now his upper extremities is also weak. What is the problem? Thus, after a flu, is germ brain syndrome until proving otherwise. So we have a GBS. What is the priority function of that problem? You can have muscle, severe muscle weakness, all you want. Okay, if you have severe muscle tone problem, all that you want. If you can have tingliness of your hand, all that you want, it's not a priority. The most prioritized information is airway. And how does the airway present? This atria, this phasia, and what? Problem talking. And that is the problem or arsenic. Therefore, this is your right answer. This is the adapting class. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you like the video, subscribe, share with your friends. If you need more of this, join our membership or join our crash course that is coming in June first. You learn content, you learn testing and strategy, and you learn how to master and see questions and how to approach them. Take care of yourself and good luck. Keep charging, as always. Bye.